welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your host, Felicia. And Rowena. So now it's almost the time to bundle up and cozy up in our chunky sweaters and eat till we can't eat no more. <laughs> and that also means it's time to switch up our skincare routines so that our skin can stay perfectly healthy and protected throughout the freezing colder months. So why might we need to switch things up in our skincare routine when it starts getting cold? Well, a good way to think of it is like your wardrobe. You start transitioning from your cute dresses and strappy sandals to long sleeve and pants and start layering up to protect your body from the cold, right? It's the same principle on our face with skincare. What happens when our skin is exposed to the dry, cold weather? It's way more prone to things like irritation and itchiness and dryness because more moisture is evaporating from our skin and this weakens the skin barrier. This is also known as transepidermal water loss. The thing with Tool is that it already happens to us on a daily basis, even in the hotter months. But when the temperature drops and there's low humidity in the air, Tool increases and your skin can easily get way more sensitive. For you dry skin people, we probably don't even have to tell you this because it it's happens already like that. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but even for you oily ones out there, have you noticed that when the weather does drop and it gets colder, that you get really oily in certain areas and really dry and flaky in other places? Yes, me too. And this is actually all to do with hydration and balancing out the skin. And other lifestyle factors also impact our skin's health, like taking long, hot showers, you know, to like warm the soul. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of the time that you were living in Brooklyn and there was no roof in the shower. Oh yeah, it was just open. There's and also a so beehive. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love New York. <laughs> but also turning on all those heaters throughout the night and using specific skincare products that might not be doing enough for this time of the year. So with all that in mind, in today's video, we're going to be covering brand new and never talked about before on Beauty Within, KBD brands from Olive Young, which is a website that has a huge range of KBD skincare, body care, as well as makeup products. They're like the Sephora or Ulta of KBD. And we went ham and chose all the products that really piqued our interest to try out so we'll be telling you guys all our thoughts and breaking down which ingredients will keep our skin bright and glowing and protected in these colder dry months and because we try so many products it's very rare that we're like <gasps> but some of these to me i don't know i think we'll it's share. because these are not like popular or very well Height. known yeah. kbd brands yeah that when we tried i was like wow i'm like where oh my have God. you been in my life <laughs> yeah <laughs> and remember a healthy skin there is a healthy life. <laughs> And here's a little disclaimer. You guys know how in the US, the way ingredients are ordered is by the amount yeah. of it found in the products because South Koreans' regulation for ingredients ordering are different. We can't assume unless otherwise stated um, by the brand of how much of a certain ingredient is found in the product. Yeah. So they're not necessarily in order. Mm. All right, so jumping into the products, let's start off with something that we both love, serums. Okay, so we picked these two because they have different functions. Yes. So yours is? The Bring Green Carrot Vita Dark Spot Serum. And then from the same brand, this is the Artemisia Calming Intensive Serum. This has 70% Artemisia Capillaris Extract. Whoa, you have to try this texture. So you know, normally gel serums, they just kind of like become water. This is, it becomes water, but it like, oh my God, it's like a gel bubble. And it's so smooth. When we were doing research, we found out that the Artemisa is actually under the umbrella of Mugwort. And we talked about Mugwort from the I'm From video. Um, and it's, yeah. It is so, <laughs> like, you it's just like keep, a cloud. It just, it keeps just dispersing. But like then like, hydration. it's still there. Yeah. It's just like hydration, hydration, hydration. Yeah. And when I put this on, I used it for about three days and I noticed the redness around certain areas that I had, like the discoloration, also started to reduce. But I don't know if it was purely because of this, because we were using other stuff yeah. that I think also worked together to really like crazily reduce Hydrate my redness. Hydrate and balance. Yeah. It's also got nicotinamide, which is similar to niacinamide. It's just kind of like a different process, but it's got 2% of that, which is good at, you know, reducing pore size. So all in all, 
Would you say this is it's for all skin types? Yes. But it's better for oily, acne prone, sensitive. No, I think you would really love oh. this. And I think why it's so suitable for all skin types is because it's got two types of complexes. The five green vital complex, which is a combination of different vegetable extracts. So cabbage extract, spinach, broccoli, artemisia leaf water, hibiscus fruit extract. Okay, fun fact, I used to have a rabbit as a pet and the breeders told me don't feed rabbits cabbage because it's too much water. So they get diarrhea. Yeah. And and then you have to wipe their little butts. <laughs> so, I mean, but in terms of hydration, <laughs> cabbage could be good. And then the calming complex has a combination of the metacassicide as well as metacassic acid and a form of centella asiatica. So we all know Sika, centella asiatica, mugwort, all very, very calming. Now I want to hear about your carrot. So this is made with 72% carrot water and carrot complex. First of all, I never even knew you could use carrot on your face. Yeah, but it's the beta carotene. It's what makes the carrot very, very bright orange. It's a natural form of vitamin A. It can help with skin rejuvenation, brightening, um, evening out dark spots, improving skin tone. And in carrots, you can also find vitamin B, C, and E, which all help with brightening. And on top of that, there's 7.5% brightening ingredients. There's 4% niacinamide, which is similar to yours. There's also 3% tranexamic acid. That's like my new favorite thing. Yes, and we talked about that in the hyperpigmentation yes. video. And it's great for sensitive skin. So vitamin C can be like very potent, especially if it's like pure ellascorbic yeah. acid. Yeah. But all of these are brightening, but calming. Gentle, yeah. very gently calming. <laughs> Essential oil smell. Carrot, smells like flower carrots. If you're not about fragrance, I feel like you can be safe that whatever you smell is actually just the ingredients yeah. in here. But if you are sensitive to essential oils or vitamin E or just sensitive in general, mm -hmm. it's good to spot test. So following on from that, we also tested two separate lines yes. of these duos. So this is the Derma Intensive Panthenol Light Cream from BOH. Oh, yours? Already looks like water cream consistency. Yours is thick. Oh, mine's like double the viscosity. That would be too much for oily skin. So the thing is, these came as like two products in a set. So the other product is the Vitamin All-in-One Essence Derma Shot, and it says anti-wrinkle and whitening because it does have a key ingredient, glutathione. Yay! And glutathione, as we talked about in previous videos... It's what you inject into your body. <laughs> ...can be controversial because, yeah, in Asia they do like Snow White drips. But I've... Cinderella. Personally... Yeah, Cinderella, Snow yeah, White. Cinder <laughs> same, same. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was the first time that I used glutathione. I kind of went into this one thinking it would be like really crazy for some reason, but <laughs> it really wasn't. In terms of principle, I really like what this does because it streamlines everything. Did you find that for your dry skin it was enough? Like as a first step, how did it feel? It felt great. The texture is quite milky. Comparing the creams to this, this is like the the watery version of the creams. So it kind of sets it up yeah. in terms of, you know, because we always say as a general rule, you go from lightest Lighter consistency to, yeah. to, yeah. Like I think this is designed as just a really simple two-step process skincare yeah. routine. There is fragrance in here. So if you don't like it, you know, just pause for a second, we shall move on. But <laughs> it's also got ceramide and multivitamin complex. So ceramides are a naturally occurring substance on our skin. It's the glue that holds the like skin cells together to make sure our skin barrier is like this and not like this. You shall not pass. Yes. Ceramides. <laughs> yeah. So that's what ceramides do. And then there's the multivitamin complex, which includes vitamin A, vitamin B, C, E, as well as sea berry, otherwise known as sea buckthorn, which you find in a lot of just like pure facial oils. Yes. Yeah, so that's what it means. The three things, vitamins, ceramides, glutathione. And then this, this has got panthenol, which is vitamin B5. And that has to do with healthy skin berry. It's like the La Roche-Posay Hyla B5. Yes. It's also got the Medo Casso side. And I feel like a lot of K-beauty skincare products love using this ingredient yeah. because it is soothing and calming. Yes. 
Um, and then it's got the tocopherol, which is vitamin E. So all in all, this to me was like a nice wrap on the skin yeah. at night. This is thicker than this because there's also coconut oil, argan oil, flower oil. Explains why you can still see it's glistening on the skin. It's like forehead on a hot day. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely for dry skin. So there's vitamin B5, medocasticide, and the Laminaria Digitata Extract. Wait, you have an extra ingredient that I don't have? <laughs> wow. Make it into a song if you don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so what's that? A plumping skin plumping ingredient. Mm. Next is this charcoal sheet mask that will throw up on the screen because I used it. <laughs> Dig it out of the bin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it is a white charcoal sheet mask and I would say I was so surprised by the texture of the sheet mask. This one was juicy, it was moisturized, it was like a weighted blanket on my face. Nice! It just like right when I put it on, a, an alarm went off so I was like oh god I need to like go do it but then it just like by itself oh. and I, all I had to do was like smooth it out a little so and the main ingredients are charcoal powder which helps decongest your pores and like detox mm. your skin there's also bamboo water lemon enzymes which help to purify the skin and pores for a smooth and clear complexion yeah. and there's lemon peel extract which is formulated specifically for this mask mm. which is very different from rubbing citrus DIY. like <laughs> yeah like rubbing lemon on your face yeah. and then citrus fruits just help to lighten and brighten and it's like mildly exfoliating so was it like brightening after you took it off i wouldn't say it's like brightening brightening but then it's so hydrating to the point where it looks just like smoother your skin cells are like yeah yeah <laughs> like a dolphin <laughs> so what would you rate this out of 10. seven just purely based off of the texture of the mask because mm. it's so hard to get the mask right it's true yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have something that's pretty like, what do you call it, extra? White truffle. I would put it on my fries. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is from Neogen. It's also in a set. And why I chose this is because it looked a lot like the Sioris. Yeah. Uh, mist yes. that you really love. So it's like a layer of oil, a layer of the watery um, fruit water. Mm. Yeah. But what I really wanted to try was the serum in oil drop. Anytime I see oil drop or like serum and oil, I'm like, ah! When I first tried this, <laughs> I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Beauty Within's closed. I found my serum. <laughs> found the one. It doesn't smell like truffle. Don't worry about that. So let's just address the white truffle a little bit. It's listed as tuber magnetum extract. And I don't think there's a lot of studies out there or even products that use truffle. Although there is a brand that completely concentrates on truffle, which I think is super extra. But it does claim that it's an antioxidant. It helps with anti-aging and it has minerals and vitamins that helps with the skin's renewal process. But other than that, it's the texture. Okay, so they have a microfluidic dispersion technology and it's in the formula to help balance the level of oils and hydration on our skin. And you can see it. Yeah. When you pump it out, I was like, oh, you can see like micro, like oil spheres in there. It's like the fresh, the nectar serum. Yes, when you can see little particles of oil, yeah. encapsulated kind of thing. And that, my friends, really just glides. It's like butter. Over the face. That's a better description for butter, because it's, it's not, butter sounds very comedogenic. Oh. What's like a thing that spreads so easily, but it's non-comedogenic? <laughs> it's like if you added some oil to this, but oh my God, it's got that oily nourishment as, but it's not oily. Yeah and it's lightweight. Yeah, I think it would work it. so well for you too. And I was so excited, I'm like, I don't wanna just stop at that. I wanna spray another one of this on there. And it's still, even though they have like oils in them as a serum step, it still wasn't too much in terms of like layering on. So I feel like if you like uh, face mist, but it doesn't do enough, mm. like most for me, yeah, you should find ones that have that oil layer. So I think the truffle is more of like those marketing ingredients where I wouldn't really buy it for the truffle purposes. But if you take that out of the equation, it's still an awesome product. Yeah. Like whatever about the truffle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, 
we have two products. I wanted to try the Goodle mm. products because Goodle is one of those K-beauty brands that haven't really, they're not like really well known, mm. um, but they've been but there for a been... while. They're getting to be more well known, yeah. especially with their tangerine vitamin C brightening glowy yeah. line. Yeah. So I was really curious to see how this line um, worked on my skin. It has an ingredient called Hotuyania Cortata. What a wonderful <laughs> phrase! <laughs> And that ingredient is throughout this line. This is the Calming Essence, and then this is the Calming Moisture Cream. The texture reminds me of the Pareto Centella toner. So I kind of just use this as a toner. So in this, it has 97.5% of the <laughs> of that Cortata extract, <laughs> which helps once again to soothe and protect the skin. And this ingredient comes from the chameleon plant, which is a leaf grown on Jeju Island. Mm. Jeju Island. Jeju. Memories. <laughs> and it's high in anti-inflammatories, it's an antioxidant, and it's also antibacterial. So once again, very similar to green tea and centella. And it's also got a blend of oils, including orange peel, as well as lavender and also basil oil. Did you use this with this? Yes. And this? Yes. So maybe it's like all of them synergy. Yeah. So this is the moisture cream. So this compared to this, way more lightweight. Straight up gel. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. It's like they just put this formulation and added some more like emollients and occlusives and it became this. So I feel like this is all so you want. So good. So good. So good, good mate. All. So good all. But like these two compared to each other, this is like if you need more moisture at night, if you're flaking, yeah. even for oily people. Um, but this is like an every day and night kind of like you don't summer even have and to winter. think about it. Yeah. So you would use this and the sheet mask and these products to maintain your skin while also adding in maybe like a acne. Yeah. Like a different gel or yeah, yeah, yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, especially when you use different gel. That's when I use these. Because if like you use something counter. that crazy and intense, you want to balance it with very soothing, hydrating ingredients. Yeah. So speaking about skin barriers, this Real Barrier Extreme Cream. Yes. Okay, is it like the Make Prem? Or is it like the Proteiny? Drunk Elephant? No. No? <laughs> oh my God. Make Prem is still more like a water cream. It's a thicker water cream with a lot more like hydrating fatty oils mm -hmm. and, and it's in essential oils. Mm -hmm. Drunk Elephant Lala Rocho, it's like a whipped fluffy velvet texture. Mm -hmm. This is like, it's thick and you know it's there and then you're just, my skin barrier is happy. <laughs> yes. I feel this like I would only use that nighttime. On my knees. You know what? Cause okay, sometimes when I use moisturizers, when I'm testing on different moisturizers and I use it in the daytime, mm -hmm. by the time we're like mid they, midway through the day, I can feel my skin like mm -hmm. drying out. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's like hours, days of hydration. Oh, it's like I go home and I'm still like, bing! In here, there's also panthenol, which is vitamin B5, which helps smooth and protect the skin, like we mentioned earlier. There's also the metacasticide. I feel like that's in all of the things that we've been talking about yeah. these days. There's yeah. also allantoin, which also has a soothing effect. And to give it that like super hydrating hydration effect, <laughs> there's olive oil, vegetable oil, which acts as an emollient, as well as lavender oil. There's also a lighter version. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, should you try that one? But I, I was like, no, the extremo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All in or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> now jumping over to a cleansing oh, water. Big boy. Okay, look at the picture. I feel like this is me and you. This is Aquarius, right? Uh -huh. And then you're just I'm pouring the water. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you're like, douse me with water. <laughs> so this is the point mild skin safe cleansing water. This is formulated for a dry sensitive skin, but basically anyone can use cleansing waters. Really simple, no fragrance. Eight and ingredients. And eight ingredients. I don't know how to describe it, but this feels moisturizing. And I think it might be because it has a diluted low molecular hyaluronic acid in Ooh. there. I use this in the morning instead of cleansing in the best way possible, normal. Ah. Like my face is like, 
I love Nasi. Yeah, and clean. And it comes in such a huge bottle. I think this is such a good value for money. Yeah, but the heartbreaking thing is, I was so tired the morning that I used it, right? And you know how there's that seal? So I opened that and then I was like, okay, time to wash. And then I poured the whole thing on the floor. <laughs> But it's okay, it's in a big bottle. Yeah. <laughs> still a lot. Yeah, there's still a lot. So dry sensitive, any, all skin, really love it. So sunscreen is very importante year round. Don't just think like, oh, the sun's not out or like, oh, the sun's hidden or like, I don't feel the heat from the sun, so I'm not gonna use sunscreen. Cause the reason why we use sunscreen is to help protect our face from UVA and UVB rays. Mm -hmm. And those rays can penetrate through clouds. I mean, sunscreen is the most effective way of anti-aging and keeping your youth. Like if there was one product that could really do that, Sunscreen. Yeah, so we picked two. This is a tinted sun cream, but that's just a straight up. Round Around is just a regular green tea Sika sun lotion. So I, I've been seeing a lot more sunscreens lately with Sika and very hydrating, antioxidant rich ingredients like green tea. Like this goes on really nicely. The only thing is that it, it is mineral sunscreen, which I personally do not prefer because it leaves on a white cast, mm. but depending on the formulation like this one, it actually blends really nicely. Before putting on CC cream today, I use this. It just, it, if anything, it kind of balances out your skin tone yeah. in a way. It has that like halo effect, as in like, but like white. White, yeah, white <laughs> halo effect. Yeah. And then this is the Aromatica Natural Tinted Sunscreen, SPF 30, and it's a non-nano physical sunscreen. So non-nano just means the particles are a little bit bigger so that it won't seep down and irritate the skin. But this is, it's, it's like a BB cream. I <laughs> don't know if this comes in color ranges, but for my kind of more olive skin, I found that it was way too white and the thing is, if your skin color does match, good for you, but it is also quite thick. It reminds me of the super group zinc sunscreen, mm, actually. Zinc screen. Yes. So if you're looking for something that covers as well as protects your skin um, from the sun, I feel like, yes, you can explore this, but here's a big tip. Make sure your face is well hydrated and well moisturized. Oh, yeah. Otherwise it will pull on your skin. It's actually a lot of coverage. Yeah. The difference yeah. is alarming, even for me. I can't imagine what it's like for you. Look at this. I look like the Joker. So for me, I am not really a fan. I would go for this one, which is way more easy to work into the skin, way more easy to apply makeup over, with, over uh, um, top. This is just thicker, but it offers more pigmentation to even out the skin tone. Um, so I only recommend this to people who already have like good skin and you fit this color. So that is all the products. These products are all like anti-aging, soothing, calming, restoring, yeah. skin barrier friendly, yeah. which is why it's very easy to love, you know, because it's- Which is why it's great for winter. Yes. Non-irritating. It's like your weighted blanket on the yeah. face. <laughs> That is our Olive Young haul. Yeah. Basically. So if you guys are interested and you want to find out more about different K-beauty skincare brands, the best sellers that are really well known to brands that are more underrated, we highly encourage you guys to try it out because the good thing is about K-beauty is not that expensive yeah. either. And I think what's cool is on the website, you can filter it and see what the best selling products are by yeah. like moisturizers, serums, and then it's best selling globally or even locally at their stores mm -hmm. in Korea. So you can see what South Korean socialites, so, so, solulites, cellulite. Uh, anyway, we can see what they're into and what is trending at the moment. So I think that is very fascinating. Mm. So that's our winter haul. <laughs> I mean, we'll be doing more. Leave below what you want to see next. Yeah. <laughs> or if you guys know any underrated KBD brands that you guys want us to try and review, Yes, we're all about the underdogs. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.